Let's bring in ABC News national security and defense analyst Mick Mulroy for more on this. Mick, what do you make of this warning from President Biden? So, Diane, although I still think it's a low probability that Russia would use uh, any kind of nuclear weapons to include uh, tactical low yield, it must be a growing concern because that would spawn, uh, get President Biden to actually make these type of statement. If there was some kind of intelligence saying that it was a growing uh, concern that he would use that. So uh, I don't think it's eminent. I certainly uh, would agree that uh, they, there's a lot of things they would have to do to get this in place, and we would hopefully have some warning. But because it is a nuclear threat, uh, everybody should take that seriously. Uh, now, do you think the exodus of Russian men fleeing the draft could affect how Putin approaches his next steps in Ukraine? Uh, yes, I think uh, it's, it's quite frankly, it's backfired. This whole call up of poorly trained, very uh, um, low morale uh, troops to go fight in Ukraine is not going to do them very much in the actual fight. And it's quite frankly causing them a lot of uh, uh, issues back home politically. Uh, as all these men would rather flee and get in boats and try to get to Alaska and uh, go to neighboring countries rather than just uh, go to basic training and, and prepare for uh, combat. So I think this is, uh, this is not going to help him that much on the battlefield, but it is, uh, it is hurting him pretty, pretty hard uh, back home uh, politically. So we're also getting reports of more evidence of war crimes in Ukraine. So what happens next on that front? Will Russia be held accountable? So hopefully, I mean, this is going to, this goes all the way to the top. If, if uh, war crimes are committed by troops in the field uh, and commanders step in and prosecute them and hold them accountable, then up the chain of command is not necessarily criminally liable. But in this case, it is very clear that all the way to the top of the chain of command, they are, they are pushing for this type of uh, activities, basically using war crimes as a terrorist weapon uh, in, the, in the actual fight. So everybody all the way up to President Putin should be held accountable for this. As more areas are liberated, we're just going to see more evidence of these atrocities. Uh, the International Criminal Court should be there in full and record everything. And hopefully one day, uh, not just the soldiers in the field committing these crimes are held responsible, but all the way up the chain of command, military and civilian in Russia. Now, the UN's nuclear watchdog is also now saying that there are landmines around the perimeter of Europe's largest nuclear plant in Ukraine. How nervous should we be about potential nuclear disaster there? And what can be done to prevent that at this point? So, Diane, that's the other nuclear issue, right? That's like a giant dirty bomb. Uh, so if it ruptures, if the, if the ceiling around it ruptures or the power supply, when it's, when it's activated, when, if the power supply is cut off, it can have a meltdown, which could cause like a Chernobyl type uh, uh, incident. Having landmines around indicates that Russian troops always put landmines around their defensive positions when they're in, when they're there for any length of time. So that's likely what it is, but it causes big issues when it comes to ensuring the continuation of the power supply. You have to navigate a landfill, uh, literally a, uh, a minefield to be able to repair some of these uh, generators, et cetera. That's a big problem. Uh, hopefully they can at least take this off uh, the battlefield space and create a safe zone around it. But Russia doesn't want that. Russia wants the power. Russia wants to use this essentially as just another nuclear threat, uh, just like they're uh, threatening tactical nuclear weapons. All right, Mick Mulroy, we appreciate the analysis. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.